Hey, this is Fool Game Prometheus, the, uh, giving you another game recap. Once again, I'm going to be rolling with the Tennessee Titans playbook. It's my base playbook. Going to be rolling with the Chicago Bears. They've got some upgrades on defense with Cleo Max. I uh, wanted to go ahead and play with the Bears. problem with the Chicago Bears online is that Mitch Trubisky is good for maybe about three or four bad passes in a game. So sometimes uh, you can get yourself in some trouble, some serious trouble playing the Bears. But right here, uh, I'm actually using a zone defense. I four and my opponent throws right into me uh, with my guy and I actually get a, a, a nice little interception right there to very begin, begin the game out. So going into the gun wing slot offset, uh, do uh, the uh, stick and verticals hit the crossing route right over the middle, just pick up some nice little chunky yards, and then um, uh, um, I jump into the inside zone. I want to try to establish a run against my opponent because Chicago is a running team, uh, and right here I'm actually going to the little outside right there, but he actually gobbles me up um, off the edge. So back to running play right here. Just go with a standard I form with a stretch. And uh, he's got nine guys in the box, but I get really good blocking right here. And uh, right there, the guys, you can see the guys were actually leading me right into the end zone, but I'm unable to get in the, into the red zone. So back to the I form, little ISO play right up the middle uh, on a first and goal, and it gets a pretty good blocking right there and stump, tumble, or, and just uh, lumber all the way to the uh, two yard, uh, three yard line. And I actually had a stretch play called, so I just do a no huddle. And right here, I'm able to go stretch it out and take it into the end zone for my first touch of the game. So up seven to nothing, uh, two minutes and 53 seconds left. Opponents already had a first turnover, so this put me in a pretty good situation. And come back to the quarters defense to try to stop the run, and there's nobody around. I actually took my safety, spread those guys out, and he's able to go and just dice me right up the middle for another first down. So back to cover four. I just want to keep showing my, guy, my opponent some cover four, start trying to pick up on his uh, tendencies after first down, and he actually has a nice little drive, uh, a run right up the middle. He, only, he gets a, a no gainer. I go back into that sting blitz um, out of the uh, 34 over, and uh, the pressure comes in, but he actually hits a nice little uh, uh, crossing right over there. And the problem with the Sting Blitz is that if he gets past your defensive blacks, you're going to give a big play, sometimes a touchdown. So that's the that's the downside of this Blitz, and this is why I'm probably not going to use this Blitz um, as my base play anymore because you can get yourself in some serious trouble right there. But the pressure comes in. Rokon Smith actually smacks him in his face. So right back to Sting Blitz again. Um, this I really was spam spamming this play a lot uh, with the pressure. But as you can see right there, he actually throws to, to the outside. Uh, I get a little pass defend. So third and ten situation, uh, about a minute left uh, in the first quarter, and I go into just a cover Bag cover two and actually hits the seam perfectly. That was my area. I didn't get out there in time and actually gets a nice little first down. So back to Sting Blitz again. Uh, this is actually a fairly good play to go and use down in the red zone, especially if you instead of blitzing those linebackers, you actually put those guys out. But he's able to hit uh, a little out route with his tight end and actually go ahead and get it down uh, to the uh, three yard line. So right here he's um, in a heavy formation shotgun and uh, he actually hits, uh, he misses a pass right there. Actually the guy, he had a separation and if he would have rifled that ball, he'd get rid of that ball, I probably would have got it in. And he actually just goes with slants right here and completes the ball right past my defenders. They tie the game at 7-0. Seven, uh, seven so uh, second quarter, uh, 4.49 left. I'm actually sprinkling this play action break screen right here. And look at the big run right here. Try to spin them around these guys and get a nice big gainer. Come back into a new play I've thrown into my scheme, which is going to be the play action cross dig shot out of the single back wing slot. And I, I streak up the inside tight end and just wait for the crossing route. But actually, he took that out of coverage, and I actually tried to go ahead and pass it back to the back end side. Um, and luckily, I didn't get sacked. So... Second and ten situation, going to be jumping into the wheel post drag, uh, looking for the crossing route right there, and is wide open and get it, uh, get a nice little nine yard gainer right there. So, third and two, back to uh, the stick and uh, stick and not verticals, uh, and looking to the flat first. No defender was out there, so I'll take the easy yards and the first down with Burton. So back, I think I, I, I think I know huddled him right now. Actually, I'm chewing the clock right now because I don't want to give the ball back to him. Hit the screen route right there. Get nice blocking with the, with the play action jailbreak uh, uh, screen and actually take it to a first down. So I'm just sprinkling that play in um, just to keep him thinking about it. Uh, that's going to uh, dictate kind of how I play. Nice little stretch play to the outside. Defense 
defender did not get picked up by the blocks. Um, and right there, only pick up one yard. It could have been house if I would have got one more additional block. So back to the uh, the wheel post drag. And actually, right here, I threw it to the tight end. I really wasn't looking to him. I just missed through it. And unfortunately, I got a nice little break and went to the open receiver. So inside zone. Uh, I'm just trying to chew the clock a little bit against my opponent. Get a nice little seal, a block right there. Get the ball down to the two yard, the two yard line. I take a timeout with 20 seconds left. That's pretty much uh, enough time to actually go ahead and shut your opponent down. I go back into the zone. And I'm like, okay, let's just stay with the pitch right here to go outside. And I get a nice little seal block, a little uh, twist right there. I'm able to get the ball into the red zone, uh, and we go into the second half because he can't do anything with the ball. So I'm getting the ball back in the second half. Uh, double play action post uh, is the play we're going to be looking. We're looking high-low off the left-hand side. Flat was wide open, and Burton actually goes ahead and takes the uh, the ball for a first down. He didn't. He missed his tackle. He had an opportunity, but he didn't get the animation. This guy stumbled a little bit. So back to the play action cross uh, dig shot over here. And right now he does not have that, that side. And uh, Ro Robinson is off to the races. I do a little spin move past his defender. Get it down to the 26-yard line. Go back into uh, the uh, the gun wing slot offset uh, and going back to that crosser. And this time I'm actually looking to the running back underneath and I'm able to go and pick up some pretty good yards right there, good, a good eight-yard gainer. So uh, back into the slingshot. Now I'm going to drag up my backside receiver and the flat is wide open again. And nice little move by Burton to get the ball in the end zone, up two scores against my opponent, and I chewed off a good two minutes off the clock. So he goes into um, a, a single back close formation mesh right here. Nice little read defenders in the area to go ahead and take uh, hit him uh, low uh, to, to minimize his gain now I'm actually in um, I'm, I'm experimenting with a, with a stint like a, a safety blitz right here I'm um, just trying to go ahead and give my opponent some, some different looks, but he actually hits the flat right there, gets a nice little spin move, they actually pick up a first down. So that was a good play by him. Now, once again, switching up my defenses, I, I go into a man blitz. Uh, this is something I've showed to you guys before out of the uh, 245 nickel inside zone. It actually gets phenomenal blocking right here. Nice seal. My defender, uh, a, a, a Prince Akamuka, doesn't really do anything. And luckily, I tackle him. That could have been, I could have given him an easy touchdown. So, in the cover four again, I just figured to go ahead and throw this at him just so he doesn't run the ball. And I spied up my outside defender just in case he rolls out. So, of course, he does roll out. I send my spy. It actually has a nice little throw right there to his guy off the side. Uh, my linebacker didn't play that. Back to Sting. Uh, pinch blitz once again. Um, this is where things get get ugly if he actually hits the seam, and I'm trying to get the get the seam, and he does hit the seam right there. The, the defensive back does not play on the ball, and he's able to go ahead and uh, go up another touchdown. So it's 14 to 21 right now. I'm thinking chew the clock, chew the clock, chew the clock. So 55 seconds uh, left in the third quarter. I want to do whatever I can to go ahead and chew this clock down as much as I can. So right here he gets a nice little block shed. Watch the instant replay. My tackle's on an island. And and lost. He totally lost that play, and he's able to go ahead uh, and get a sack right there. So second and 19. All I don't. All I only need is to get you know nine yards back. Put myself in a in a third and sh uh, reasonable distance, and actually hit a little dr uh, little slant route, and I'm able to go and pick up uh, a good chunk of change right there. I picked up uh, 13 yards. So now um, I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the single back formation. This is Salem. I like this play because you get a high low off the left hand side, and right there the uh, the high low actually works out for me. And I get a nice little first down, and I'm chewing the clock. You see, I've got the clock down to th three seconds right now. I'm going to run the ball as much as possible. Uh, he actually uh, allows me to go and run up the middle right there and pick up a good five yards, chewing the clock down to three minutes and 39 seconds left. And he's got the box pretty stacked. Uh, misses a block right there. I'm able to go ahead and get another uh, uh, another broken tackle, and I get the ball down into field goal range. So I'm an autopilot right now. What my goal right now is to just chew the clock as much as possible and settle for three points to go up by two possessions. Because you know, playing winning a Madden is all about winning possessions. So little uh, stretch play right there gets blown up for a two yard loss. I go into um, one of my favorite plays, uh, which is flanker under. I look for the crossing route, but he actually is playing underneath, so I actually drop it down to the running back delayed route, and I'm able to go and pick up another first down. So uh, uh, two minutes and one second left right here. I think he took a timeout 
um, and I do a little outside run right here with Jordan, and I'm able to go ahead and take the ball into the red zone, uh, into a touchdown, and go up by two scores. So feeling pretty good about myself. I'm, star I'm starting to play a little, uh, play around with my defenses, just do a little pressure off the edge with the uh, nickel G uh, formation, something I really haven't won into too much. And right there, I'm able to go and tackle him uh, for uh, second and four. So he, of course, no huddles. I got the pressure coming off the opposite side. His line picks everything up. Uh, but right here, my defensive back actually plays a, plays the ball. So third and four situation. Once again, I still got the pressure going off the left-hand side. I pull my guy in a little bit. I play the middle linebacker, Rokon Smith, because he's got that 89 speed. And I'm just going to go ahead and just watch the middle of the field, let my seams play seams. He does a little play action right there, and I get a nice little shed of block with Cleo Mack to sack him. So fourth and 15, stay with the same blitz. No, why, why change it up? Just go ahead and make sure uh, I've got my guys in a pass commit, push my guys back. Uh, and then I actually brought him back up again. I think I tried to push him back. I should have pushed these guys back. But he's working the clock. He's playing, making adjustments. He's in the, definitely the wrong formation right now. He blocks everybody. It takes a shot up top. And right there, the ball is dropped. And my opponent quits out. So, once again, guys, thanks for your support. And I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time.